Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss this question which is based on a 4 bit ripple carry binary adder. So, in my previous lectures, I have discussed half header, full header, half subtractor, and full subtractor. So, with the help of this question, which is being asked in gate 2000. 15, I am going to elaborate the concept of ripple carry binary adder. So, let us try to understand what is given in this and how we can solve this question. This question is saying a half adder is implemented with XOR and AND gate. So, I hope you remember the expression which I am writing here half adder I am saying H A will have two things it will have sum and it will have carry. So, the equation of sum let us say if there is A and B two input then A X or B and the equation of carry it is A and B. Right, so that you know. Now you also know that in case of full adder, full adder handles input carry also. So there is sum of full adder, which we have already discussed. The sum of full adder expression is A X or B. So here I am writing B XOR C in so C I or C in whatever you want. This is input carry. Okay, C I and the carry of the full adder we write in terms of let's say A and B are input. So we say A B or A XOR B ending with C A with input carry right C A is the input carry. So, I hope you remember this I let me write it properly so this is okay. So, this these are the equations which you do remember right. Now, when we implement it is saying the full header is implemented with the help of two half header and one OR gate here it is saying. So, there are two half headers and one OR gate. So, let us try to understand how we can design it. When we construct the half header so, half header is something like this which is having XOR because ultimately the sum we will get as XOR. So, let us say there are two inputs A and B. So, this is A, this is B and here we will get A XOR B. So, this will represent the sum this thing right. Now, because we also want to get A and B. So, we have an AND gate in half header like this and it is getting input. So, let us say this is A and from here the B is coming like this right and here we are getting A dot B it is fine. Now, in case there are two half headers so the similar circuit will also be available here. So, let, let, let me draw that. So, there is another half header which is also having XOR like this which takes two input here and there is AND also 
one and gate now let's see it if i want to combine these two half headers one circuit is here another circuit is here and ultimately i want to get sum as this thing then in that case I need to have another input also that is ci you can say or c input so i am having another input and saying let's say this is c or ci input which is coming like this right now this input i will connect to this point because here i want to get as a sum what i want to get let me write I want to get A XOR, B XOR, C in. So A XOR, this is not S, this is B actually. A XOR B, this is not S, this is B. A XOR B. So this point, when we connect to this input like this, and this. We can connect to this input like this. Now we will get this this value A X or B X or C. So that is not very difficult to understand. Okay. Now here we, what we want A B. So if we want A B plus A B is available here. The rest of the thing we can get here. So A X or B we already have. So if we pass A X or B to this, along with C, it will give me this 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 particular portion, right? So let's draw it. I am connecting this point from here. I am getting this. So let me draw it. I am getting this straight line from here. So from here I will get A X or B, right? And once I get A X or B, I can connect it to this point. So this end, one input I have connected as A X or B, and this A and B is already there. Another point I can connect with this C or C in. So I have connected this point with C in, right? So this input is getting C in, and this input is getting A X or B. So I can write the output here, which we will get. We will get the ending of this. So we will get A A X or B ending with C I, right? Now what we need to do is, in order to get this carry, we need to perform or operation so we need one or gate that's why in this question they say that it has been implemented by two half headers so this circuit represents one half header which is drawn in green color this yellow color circuit is representing another half header right but we require one or gate also so they have sent that means and there one or gate is also we have used so let's take one or gate here one or gate is here we are taking let's say there is one or gate like this and this one or gate one input will come from here and another input we will join from so this is i am getting from here like this from here i am connecting okay it is getting like this and another input i am connecting from here this is one of the input and once we connect it like this then here we, we will get a b or because now this is or a x or b dot c in ci right 
so let's try to understand it clearly this green circuit here is representing one half letter so i'm just closing it inside a bundle so you can see a box rectangle so this is a half letter now this yellow color circuit is also representing a half header so we can close this thing inside a box so this is also a half header we have connected both the half header in a particular manner and we are having an or gate and we are getting fully functional for letters right now let's try to understand the delay which is given in this question so we are trying to understand the delay when we get this sum when we get sum as well as carry so this sum and this carry after how much time so let's say at time t0 or at time t is equal to 0 when we pass these input a b and c after how much time we will get these sum and carry so they are saying the delay of XOR gate twice, twice it is mentioned here, twice the delay of propagation delay of AND or OR gate. And N and OR gate is having 1.2 microseconds delay. So here it is 1.2 microsecond delay and this XOR is having double of it that means 2.4 microsecond delay. So once we pass ABC input here, we will get output here after 2.4 microsecond and this A dot B we will get after 1.2 microsecond. So effectively this half header will generate output in terms of sum and carry after 2.4 microseconds so i'm writing here mu as microsecond right now it is connected so then we are passing the input to this so again this circuit will take delay of here 2.4 microsecond right so i hope you can understand if we are constructing a full adder by using two half headers along with one OR gate then the total delay which we get so this sum we will get after giving the input after 4.8 microsecond so this sum we will receive after 4.8 microsecond right and so effectively this overall circuit we can say it is generating the overall delay is 4.8 microsecond now they are saying it is a 4 bit ripple carry binary adder so what is a ripple carry binary adder let me brief you on that so generally we create binary adder ripple carry or you can say parallel adder if it is 4 bit if it is of 4 bit okay 4 bit triple carry binary adder is there so quickly try to understand that so let's say there is a circuit you consider it as a full adder so because there are 4 bit we need to add we need to have 4 full adders I am drawing 4 such a block diagram of full adders. Full adder is capable to handle input carry that we know. Please do remember that when we step just the connections. 
टू कनेक्ट दी आउटपुट कैरी दिस इज अपल कैरी बाइनरी एडर सो दीज आर दी फोर फुल एडर्स विच आई हैव ड्रॉन नाउ दीज फोर फुल एडर्स यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डज इट वर्क so you can start like we are passing input here like this and we are giving one input here and if you are passing a carry then carry you can you can assume that output you are getting here so let's say it's sum and carry we will get here there is another okay carry you can give from this place or wherever you want to generate you can generate a carry so there is no input carry right so i am taking carry here let's say this is one of the place where i am getting input carry in every circuit we will get input carry right now every full letter will have these pins like sum and carry it will generate and it is capable to handle input carry also circuit is some like this now what is happening try to identify the behavior of it so let's say we are generating a here this is a and this is b input now there is no input carry as such at very first bit so this input carry will be considered as zero okay now after that once this sum will come because we want to add sum of this to the next so when we have let's say four bit you try to understand there is a number n 1 which is having 1 0 0 1 let's say four bit and there is number 2 which is having 1 1 0 0 1 or one, whatever you want. it is like this so when we start adding this it will generate a carry and it will come up like this and then carry will add in this particular sum right so if there is any input carry that will be added into the sum right so whatever the sum is coming that will be added into the carry right so let's say i consider this pin as let's say i'm saying i can use it as sum and this is i'm saying let's say carry okay so let's try to consider like this carry is here i am representing sum is here carry is here sum is here carry is this pin sum is this pin so when we add this these two numbers try to understand this will give us zero so the sum is coming here this is number 1 number 2 right and the carry is being forwarded here right and once we add these two things along with this carry the sum we will write here and if there is any carry it will be forwarded to this place but in this case there is no carry coming so this 10 will be added and the sum will be here and in case any carry is coming it will be keep on forwarding to the next place and it will be added along with the given bits so in case there is no carry it will give zero and there is a output carry so this will come as c out co right 
so in case we consider this is bit 0 then bit 1 then bit 2 so these carries we can we can consider like this so in that case we will consider the bit 0 or number 1 then bit 0 of number 2 we are adding so we are generating carry 0 so that means this we are considering c0 if anything is coming here we can consider c1 if anything is coming here we can consider like c2 and so on right so you try to understand ultimately these bits we will get as the output so this sum okay better to draw in another way because this will represent the least significant bit and whatever we will get here that will be most significant bit but no issue i'll i'll represent like this so this sum will give us the very first bit here this sum will give us the next bit of the sum the resultant number which I, we are going to get this will get the third bit and this will get the four bit of our sum okay right now the connection you can see this carry which is coming we need to pass to the another right so we pass this carry this is the carry we need to pass this particular carry like this right similarly this carry we can forward to next level like this similarly this carry we can forward to next level like this right so we connect these carries in that manner right now once you connect these carries and the bits we, you are giving as input so let's say there are two numbers and every number will have from least significant bit. so let's say i'm saying this is a0 and this is b0 what i am considering a0 if i consider this the very first number rather than a if it is a rather than n1 it is a and it is b so b0 means first bit of number a and first bit of number b then here we will get another a1 here we will get b1 so these two bits will be added along with the input carry then here a2 b2 and here a3 b3 right right and these are the carry which we are getting from the previous place which is making it the ripple carry binary ripple means the carry is getting forwarded to the next level and this is we are getting as the final carry so this is the final c out and this is the final sum which we will get after adding the four bit two numbers so this complete circuit will represent the four bit ripple carry binary adder okay so here we have already talked about the one full adder this one block is representing full adder okay because it is dealing with the carry also so i am writing here this is a full adder full adder this is also a full adder and this is also a full adder now try to understand if one full adder here we have calculated it is taking 4.8 microseconds how much total propagation delay will be there so this full adder is taking let's say 4.8 microsecond right so every full adder is taking 4.8 then next full adder will also take 4.8 microsecond 
this will also take 4.8 microsecond 4.8 microsecond so altogether the total propagation delay will be 4.8 cross 4 you can say rather than adding you can multiply so this will give you this will give you 19.2 micro second propagation delay right so let's look at the question again and get the answer here what they are asking the total propagation time of this 4 bit binary adder in microsecond is so total propagation time I am writing total propagation time so I hope you are able to understand this 4 bit ripple binary adder and you are also able to get the answer of this question and the answer is 19.2 microsecond right so with this i am closing this lecture thank you for listening